All set. Gates crash open and they sent on their way. Passchendaele was sluggish into stride and Spring Palace got no start and has got little hope from there. Lily of the Nile, first one to break, Coastal Commander pushes forward, gets right up there, Dumbledore on the wide outside, Girl Like Us is a bit enthusiastic, then comes Ticket to Vegas, Red Sleeves and White Cap also seeking the lead with the track running so fast, that's no surprise, Sail to the Moon races, one off the rail, kept company by Monumental, Tail of the Comet stuck out deep, three deep midway round the turn, Public Benefit is in the blue and gold, then comes Just Be Lacquer, Connery races with two, three behind, Passchendaele, then comes Easy Money and Spring Palace off the blow the start is well and truly out of the hunt as they now take the angle for home they got 600 meters left to go coastal commander stable companion Dumbledore right there with tickets to Vegas and they turn up together then comes Lily of the Nile who turned for home in fourth girl like us towards the inside tail of the comets and the blue and silver colors angles to the middle of the course further back then to sail to the moon just be lackers and the white with a blue hoop and got five lanes to make up with Passchendaele at her outside but tail of the comet came striding into the lead with purpose. Second place is Ticket to Vegas. Just be like a coastal commander. They further back, but it's Tail of the Comet punched out with the hands. Well and truly a cut above. Tail of the Comet blasts away. Second goes the way of Just Be Lacca. Third to Sail to the Moon. Then came Easy Money. So well done to the winning connections here to the ASM Racing Syndicate nominee Arun Chadda, Chadda Mr. Harvard, George O'Brien, Sean Terry Racing. I see Warren Rippon is here, he looks the part, looks like he's ready to watch rugby. I'd never know why, but what a precursor to the rugby. This is for the connections of number three, Tail of the Comet. Big payday for him, and believe me, there is a lot more to come. He did zero right, nothing right, and he's come home in isolation. Race six, the 2003 Raid to Run Stakes has been won by number three, Tail of the Comet. Son of Gimme the Green Light. Congratulations to all the connections, Nenison Park Stud for breeding. And well done to uh, Li uh, Lisa Lisa Garbini. He receives his thousand rand. Thank you to Cape Racing and Hollywood Bets. Richard Faree was the jockey aboard uh, Tail of the Comet. Uh, Richard, well done. Thank you, Vicky. I know that you haven't ridden him in a race as yet, but I know you sat on him leading up to, to the race. Did he impress you then and did he impress you more now? Yeah, look, I uh, ran him at home. His sprint up was pretty good. Uh, and in the gallop, uh, the gallop was very soft. Uh, Mr. Terry had very clear instructions what he would like, and uh, we followed to the T. And when we pulled up, I said to Mr. Terry, myself, and the other jockey was in the gallop. I said, nothing is going to come past him. It was a spot on gallop. The sort of work that Mr. Ter Terry wanted, that's what he got. So, you know, no hiccups, nothing. And then uh, gates open, he was slightly sluggish out. And you obviously know these little pressure races, the, the pressure came from the outside. And uh, what I liked about him is he, he didn't try and over race where he was, but uh, the horse in front of me couldn't go with the initial early speed. So I made a bold choice uh, to pull him out at that stage, uh, try and go around that horse in front of me. I couldn't go with the tempo. Um, you know, I got lucky. Um, but yeah, came into the straight. I just shook the reins and uh, I thought I went a bit too soon on him. But I'm learning from him. Uh, he's a nice horse and uh, he's, he's one of those prospects that I've never quite experienced, um, you know, leading up into like races like the Guineas. I've always found the classic horses, so this one is a very interesting horse to me. With regards to, you, you mentioned, you know, where to from here, distance-wise, do you think that he'll be okay to stretch over further? Uh, most definitely, the way he was behaved, and, you know, he is a temperamental horse, but his nature, um, you know, going into the race was pretty good and he was so relaxed uh, you know one or twice once or twice he did uh, pop his neck up but uh, purely because the horse couldn't keep up with the speed uh, that we were trying to match with the front sort of horses but saying all that uh, turn of foot's phenomenal um like it's uh, he's a very interesting horse uh, well done to um, sarun chad and everybody else involved um uh, mr terry opening up the bank here taking a uh, you know the, the cherry <laughs> quite early but uh, yeah we've got a long season to go um, and looking very forward to it so well done to everybody involved uh, obviously to Hollywood Bed Stimble, uh lovely day yeah lots of people um, and then obviously there's a sales tomorrow so this was came off that sales uh, it could be a couple of bombs there you know so I'd, uh, I'd encourage the public to to get involved and owners uh, come and see the sale there's always uh, some bright horses that get, uh, get uh, snatched up here for quite decent prices so um, yeah Make a plan, get here tomorrow, and uh, come, come by your next champion.
Absolutely. Well done, Richard. Thank you very much. And also to my sponsors at Winning Form for their support. Thank you. Yeah, well done to Richard. That's third one on the day. Sean Terry up next. Uh, he's going to chat to me. And uh, it's lovely when a plan comes together, Sean. Yes. You know, I've been very fortunate with uh, this sale, with this race. And, uh, you know, I'm very happy that it's continued here. Last year, this time, I wasn't, uh, you know, overly keen to, to go spending money. And I must just say to George, well done. He was adamant that he, he was going to buy a few at the sale. And fortunately, he gave me a, a smallish list that we managed to narrow down to the, to the right couple. Well done, George. To Gary, who celebrates his birthday this week. All the best, my friend. Thank you for, for coming into the yard and being very staunch. And then obviously to Warren and Arun for, for buying into this horse. Um, I've got other horses in my yard and uh, you know, I'm really happy for them that he's delivered the goods. It's not always easy to recommend a, a highly priced horse. But I think he's, uh, he's acquitted himself well enough to say that he was worth it. Absolutely. And uh, be it, this is always a lovely purse to go for the, these type of races and the incentives must certainly drive that. We still have a whole season ahead in the, in the Cape. Um, do you have anything outlined specifically for him at this point or is that still a discussion? No, obviously the Cape Guineas is his target. And um, yeah, we may run him one more time before then. Or we, or we'll just see how that goes if we need a another pipe opener in between, but uh, that is our, our main mission and, um, you know, hopefully everything goes well while we're down here. Yeah, I must just thank Zet and um, Joe and Lisa, they're the, the three guys that are looking after the horses while they stay here. They're doing a fantastic job. Obviously to um, Nettison, well done, they produced a, a very good horse here. And uh, to my team at home, Cape Racing, doing a great job, and Betway, thanks a lot. Well done, Sean. Thank you. Well done. And then the man who put his hand up <laughs> and reaps the rewards. Well done for a lovely win. Thank you, Vicky. Yeah, it's, uh, Were you ever a little bit nervous around the turn there when Richard took a bold move? Very much so. I was, um, was as you know, in racing, there's no certainties, but um, it was an amazing day, amazing time of our lives. Um, this horse is quite special. Um, if you allow me a few minutes, I want to tell you because that's why people get into racing. So I got into Sun Classic through my father, who unfortunately succumbed to a terrible disease. And um, it was a journey with this horse and my father. And then this horse comes along. My mother, who's busy, I'm hoping she'll make it tonight. That's how bad she is. Um, but we came here for her. So when I wanted to buy this horse, I said to mom, I've got this horse called Taylor the Comet. And the first thing, she got this big wink. And she said, I love the name. And this is a horse, and um, we bought into this horse, and that saying of, of good horses can find you, Saint Classique found us like that. I don't say she's, he's a Saint Classique, early days, but it's so exciting, and um, that's why we race. My parents, uh, whether it's fortunately or unfortunately, brought me into this game. <laughs> but we love it, we are passionate, we, we believers. Um, I just wish we could export our horses and race internationally, because I think we could. And uh, I want to thank Cape Racing. I've never been out to the country club. It's amazing. It's a, I think it's the best course in the country. <laughs> well, it's all, obviously in the winner's box, it's always great. But the atmosphere is amazing. And it's quite a, a small couple sort of race course where you can enjoy every bit of it. Exactly. So I've got my whole family here. I've got, uh, so mom and I watched the last race in the, in the, in the ward in Constantia Berg. She's now in palliative care. I hope she's watching because I told her I'm coming to, to lead the comet in. So just thank you to my friends and my family who've supported us through my mom's ordeal of leukemia. And this is to her, I dedicate this, this win to her, to my family, to everybody around us. And we love racing and um, hopefully Tale of the Comet can continue on this great story. Thank you. Well done for the win. Thanks. Thanks. You, you get to collect the check. <laughs> it's always a good part too. Justin Vermark from Cape Racing will hand over 600,000 Rand for the winning of uh, the Cape Racing Sales Read to Run Stakes. Well done. Yes. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I just forgot to mention my other partners, George, Gary, well done, uh, to Arun, um, and also to a friend of mine, uh, Matthew Stevens, who phoned me one day and said, I think I've got a, a horse for you, and this is the comment. So thank you to him, and uh, yeah, lovely to be here. Thanks to Cape Racing, and thank you. 
No, thank you very much. Well done. Lovely uh, having the stories behind the horses. It's always very touching, and especially handing through the generations, a sport that we all love and enjoy so dearly. So number three, tale of the Comet, most certainly making the dreams come true. The daughter of Give Me the Green Light, well done to Nelson Park Stud and all the owners involved, Richard Free guarding him down masterfully towards the end where he won comfortably to win the 2003 Red to Run Sticks.